This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, welcome Rabbi Isai to the Kailo Mitsuyanim here in Kugarn Hills, New York. We're continuing our series on Biur Tfila. We call it Gateway to Tfila. And we're continuing in the Berchus HaShachar. We did Asher Nosan Lasach Vivino, Shalai Sanigoi. We gave a shir on Adoin Alam. Now we talk about Shalai Asani Oved. And this shir is sponsored by our good friend Rabbi Tzala Rose in Los Angeles. Lele Nishmas, his brother Tzvi ben Levi Yitzchak, Neshama Shavna Aliyah, Shemel Tziyosh of Hamashacha, for Simcha Sanachas, for Asaris Adbi Eskel Tzedek. Okay, so Shaloya Sani Aved. So the first question is, you already said Shaloya Sani Goy. God, thank you that I'm not a Gentile, which, by the way, we explained from Rav Schwab, this is not a denigrating bracha, we're not saying that they don't serve an important function in this world, but we're thanking Hashem for our opportunity to be commanded in mitzvahs, Gada mitzvah v'aisa. So once we're not a Gentile, why do we have to thank Hashem, Shalai Sani Aved, and Eved Kenani is a Gentile. So we've already said that. We've already said, Shalai Sani Goy. What are we adding by saying Shalai Sani Aved? So, the Levush writes, V'yachar kach baruch at Hashem al-Kenim al-Khalam b'shoi sani Oved, Rot Sulaimar, Eved Kenani, a Gentile slave, a Sha'af al nevertheless, in, in other words, I by already said Shalai Sani, going, no, Sha'af al-Pi, Shutoiv min ha-Goy, an Eved is better than a Goy, why? Because an Eved is chayv in mitzvah, it's like a woman. K'day al-Finan la-la me'isha, nevertheless, we are much better. Because an Eved Kanani is very degraded. Shein la yachas. He has no yichos. He has no connection to his ancestors. As a chosavos. An Eved Kanani does not have the merit of the forefathers. Va'as Rabbas Yisrael cannot marry a regular Jewish woman. Ushar in yone shiflos yeshvay. And he has other uh, degradation. In other words, the Levush is saying that we thank Hashem for not being an Eved Kanani who is much better than a guy, but nevertheless... He's uh, degraded, he's lowly, he doesn't have schosavos, he can't marry into the Jewish people, and he has other in Yonei Shifla. So, according to Levush, Shaloya Sani, Oved, Eved Kenani. But, other Rishonim learn, Rabbi Yehuda Bar Yakar, who's the, Tam- the Rabbi of Rashi, in his parish at Tfila, when we say Shaloya Sani Oved, the Kavana is, not an Eved Kanani, because we already said Shaloya Sani Goy. How many different nuances of Goy are there? Should we say Shaloya Sani, this country, that country, they go, we're gone forever. How many different meanings there are, yeah? Vafilu Eved Yisrael, we're meaning with Hashem, we're not an Eved Ivri. Because an Eved Ivri, the Fisheina Bershusa, the Kayim HaMitzvah's Kroy, is not in his own domain to fulfill the Mitzvah's Kayim. Machbidin Olav Lasus Malachte, the whole day he can't do Mitzvah's. Yeah, maybe he could do daven shachas and put on tefillin. But that's not a leban. He can't he can learn as, as he wishes. He can't pursue Avodah Hashem as he wishes. So we thank Hashem. Not that we're not an Eved Kenai. We're not an Eved Ivri. Now, in the Sefer Oilas Tamid. The Oilas Tamid was a, a Sefer on tefillah written by the Tzaddik of Shmuel Hamanar. And he writes in his Perosh that... When we say Shaloy Asani Oved, one of the thoughts we should have is, God, thank you for taking us out of Egypt. Because if we would be in Egypt now, we would be building pyramids and making the Sphinx and mummifying cats and mummifying Paro's breakfast. So we would be uh, stuck there in Egypt. So um, part, we know that Chayv Adam Leroy says, Atzmai Kilo Yatsami Mitzrayim. So this is something we don't only think about on Pesach, but every day of the year. When we say Shlaya Sani Ovid, we thank Hashem for taking us out of Egypt and uh, we're taking us out of the land of the asp and the crocodile. Yeah? So, V'yesh l'chavin b'hoido azu gama mash Hashem Yisbach hitziloi hayoim me'avoid avoid as perach v'choymer u'levenim b'yaretz Mitzrayim hatmeya. V'loshen ha-rambam b'chol dar v'adar chayv adam l'roi ses atzmoi k'ilu hu ba'atzmoi yatsa ata Mishibud Mitzrayim! Yeah? I'm not available. Tell me I'm not giving share. Yeah. Okay. So, Atom Mishibud Shinema Baisan Oitzi Misham, the Aldavar Zet, Siva Kadesh Barcho Betaira, the Zacharto, Kiever Ayusa, the Eretz Mitzrayim. You need to remember that you yourself were an Evet at Mitzrayim. Now, this is the Pshad Rabshmol Hamaner, and 
that God saved us from Avoidas Parach, and we have to imagine that we ourselves were Meshubed to Paroi, and this is one of the Kavonas we should have when we say the Baruch Shalisani Oved. And in Rav Ruven Malamit Sefer Antfila, Tfilas Chana, he says when this pshat was shown to the Mashkiach in Panovich, he praised it very much. Okay, now we go on to another dimension over here. That what do we thank Hashem for when we say Shaloya Sani Avet? So we've br- brought this Siddur a number of times, the Tfila Le David of Rabbi Avram David Varman. Rabbi Avram David Varman. He says, This is from the Eishel Avram of Uchach, that part of the Kavana to have when we say, Shaloya Sani Avid, he says, Kiyadua, Ye Shloy Mer Horem Ez Gamkein. You know, the Pasuk says about Kla Yisrael, this Makartem La Avodim Ve'in Koina, that we will be sold as Avodim and nobody will want to buy us. So on the one hand, that's a great klala. We're so pathetic, we're so disgusting, nobody would even want to buy us. That's part of the toichacha. But one of the deeper meanings here is klal Yisrael inherently have such cheros and such freedom of spirit and such broadness and such um, a sense of belonging only to God that the concept of avdus is not chal on us in any sense at all because we are only and solely avdei Hashem we cannot be avadim to anybody else that, in other words there's a kind of, other nations of the world have some degree of a slave mentality you know you could hire them and they have satisfaction and they have uh, they're tzufrid in working for other people the Jewish DNA is such that the concept of avdus is, uh, is, so, uh, is so antithetical to our nature. We like to be our own boss. We don't like to work for other people. That, that's what it means. Shaloya Sani Oved is that like, as opposed to other nations that they have a degree of slave mentality, the nature of the Jew is that we are only avadim to Hashem and we are not avdei paroi. That's why we don't say the bracha Sani Oved Hashem. Again, that's, you know, we, we address that already. We don't say any brachos in the... Uh, in the positive, we, we, we spoke about why we do that. Um, so this is another dimension of the, of the bracha, shaloi asani oved, that the concept of avdus is, is not chal on us in any sense. And in this sense, by the way, we are called banim lamakayim. Banim lamakayim means that we cannot be avadim to anybody else. And then the idea dawned on me and I got very excited. That I said, you know what, I think I thought of a new pshad in the bracha, shaloi asani oved. We all know that there's a great machlaikas in Shas, and this is one of my favorite subjects. Are we avadim to Hashem? Or are we banim to Hashem? So Bihuda says, Bizman sha'oisim ratsayna shamakam, when you do the will of God, we're banim. Bizman sha'in oisim ratsayna shamakam, then we're avadim. That's the, the opinion of Rabbi Huda. Reb Meir holds, Bein kach, u bein kach nekram banim. Regardless, nevertheless, we are always called banim la makayim. So, so the, I, I would like to suggest that we know even though we always paskin like Rabbi Yehuda and we never paskin like Rabbi Meir, the Rajba writes in two tshuvas that regarding this machloikis, whether we're avodim or banim, we paskin like Rabbi Meir because Rabbi Meir cites four psukim, Rabbi Meir cites the pasuk banim lo eimon bam, banim mashchisim, um, b'nei kel chai, Rabbi Meir cites four psukim, so the Rajba says we paskin like Rabbi Meir. So number one we could say like this, Shaloya Sani Oved. You know what we're thanking Hashem for? We're not like the Gentiles that maybe are Avodim to Hashem. But we paskin like Reb Meir. Bonim Lamokoim. Every morning we wake up in the morning and we say, Rebainer Shaloylam. And this is the way the Sefer Petitaya Dairaisa expresses it. He quotes the Rajma that there's a Machlech Zermain Rabbi Yehuda and you would have expected the Halacha to be like uh, Rabbi Huda, and yet the halach is like Rabbi Meir. So maybe, therefore, when it comes to this situation, we are obligated every morning to wake up and to express our gratitude and praise and glorify and sanctify and show Haida. Um, I'm so happy that halach is like Rabbi Meir that I'm not an Evet I'm not an Evet HaKadosh Baruch, but rather I'm Banim Lamakam. After all, it's such a great gift. That we are banim la makayim. So we should thank Hashem for it. When do we ever thank Hashem? That we're banim la makayim. The answer is every morning we say, Shalai asani aved. Or we could say, even like Rabbi Huda, 
Rebbeinu Shalom, thank you for helping me in a ba- be on a madrega, then I'm oisim rutsoinoi shalmokoim, so that I'm not in the bechina of Eved, but I'm on the bechina of Ben. But at the very least, since we're passing like Rameir, the pshat is that we're thanking Hashem, that ben kach u ben kach nekroim banim. So these are a number of things to think about. Number one, that we're not an Eved Kanani, we're not an Eved Ivri, we're not working in the Sphinx in, the, in Egypt, that the, the concept of Avdus is antithetical to the Jewish nature, and we are in the Madrega of Banam Lamak. And Rabbi Isai, have a great Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.